Today we will learn how to absolutely position as well as relatively position the servo motors through the Kinko Servo Plus software. To start off, establish communication with your servo drive and verify with the green light over the comms when you open the channel. From here, go to the driver tab, initialize save reboot, start by rebooting your drive and initialize control parameters. This will set everything to default settings. The motor should already be established and operated. Under your digital I.O. functions as well as your basic operations, you'll see that you cannot change the position control here. It's stuck to negative four because of this operation mode select, so we want to clear that from a digital input. You'll see that the position control mode to one will be able to save. For the control word, you'll see that you want to go to 2F for absolute positioning, and it will not save under the control word due to the enable pin being on the digital input one. So you want to clear that from your digital input one as well. Then you'll see you can set to 2F, which is the ready for absolute positioning control word. For all this, we want to just clear everything on the digital inputs and set up our own activate command on digital input one, which we can simulate as we run through. For the target position, we'll set it to 10,000, which is one revolution of the servo motor. That's 10,000 pulses in quadrature that you'll see on the 2500 CPR encoder. For the profile speed, we'll set to 100 to make it simple. Notice that the position actual before simulation was zero, and after the simulation, it's set to 10,000, as that was our target position. Since this is absolute positioning, you'll see that when we activate the command again, the position doesn't change, because the target position is already at the position of actual. If we set to 20,000, you'll notice it'll go from 10,000 to 20,000 upon activation again. That's because it takes the target position and compares it to the position actual and runs to that position. If you wanted to go into other positions such as you know 10,000 again or 15,000, we can continually change the target position and activate the command and have it run to that. Because of this, it does not care if you have inverted direction on your inputs to do relative positioning, you want to set to 4F. Since we already have the activate command simulated, it's set to 5F. When we change this over, we'll see that though we have target position at 10,000, it jumps to 20,000 and now 30,000 upon reactivation. As the controller changes from 4 to 5F, you'll see this goes now to 40,000. When we change that back to 2F and leave the target position at 10,000, when we simulate, it goes from 40,000 counterclockwise back to 10,000. So that's because target position, when in relative position, does not take into account the actual position. But target position in absolute position takes into account the actual position. When we change to 102F as compared to 2F, 102 means always ready. So the target position here is going to be 50,000. We'll see when we go to 103F, it will run to 50,000. So in this case, we can just change the target position over and over, and it's always going to be running. So we changed from 50,000 to 10,000 and it ran. Now we want to go to 15,000 here. It'll go to 15,000. From 103F to 105F, you'll notice that it doesn't change because that's the always, always ready, always moving relative positioning. You have to set to 104F to enable the motor to wait for a position command, then change to 105F and it runs its target position with no regard to the actual position of the motor. Switching back from 104 and then running again to 105, You'll see that this is how you get the actual position from always ready. It's much simpler to set up your activate command again for this position and simulate over and over to gain your uh, target positions in relation to your actual position. So you'll see here a few simulations of the activate command. Now if I set my target position to 10,000 again and activate command on the 105F, then you'll see it's gaining 10,000 every increment. And as I change it back to absolute positioning here, 103F goes to 102 because the activate command is on the digital input, switches to 103 upon activation, and runs back to the target position.